Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is Karina from Per Diem Thrifts. As you can tell behind me, I am in the shop today and I just, honestly, I'm just so happy. <laughs> I wanted to come on here and give you guys a quick little hello and a little update just because I know I've been slacking on videos lately. I just, I really wanted to get all of this done and I swear I tried to film like while I was prepping, while I was like setting everything up, but I was just really stressed out and I figured that my priority was setting up the shop so that I could show you to you guys later um, and get everything ready because I had my grand opening on Saturday. It was absolutely amazing. I am so thankful to everybody who showed up. It was just honestly more than I ever could have hoped it would have been and I'm still riding that high. I am on my first like full week of being open. It's only Tuesday so today's the first day and I'm not usually open on Tuesdays. Like in my previous space I wasn't open. I had this day off. Um, so I'm just kind of like feeling into it and seeing what it's like to be open on days like today It's raining outside. So there isn't a whole bunch of traffic, but I've made a couple sales just from like friends and um, Previous customers who weren't able to make it on Saturday. So they're stopping in today And yeah, I thought I'd give you guys like a full tour of what the space is starting to look like, at least in the front half, because I haven't even touched back there yet. I've been really prioritizing getting the shoppable space looking good so that obviously I can open and then um, the back will come. It'll, it'll all happen and that I think I can actually film for you guys um, because I don't, I'm not so stressed out and I'm not so pressured to get that space done. Um, I am a little bit just because Obviously, like I still have to like use that space back there and it is a hot mess But I still feel like it'll be easier for me to like kind of document that whole process and show you guys What I'm doing back there and all of that with all of that being said Are you guys ready for a store tour? Let's do it. This is what it looks like from the outside. I actually just got this done like she literally just finished maybe 15 minutes ago so it's still drying but I think it looks absolutely amazing my windows are humongous and perfect and you can see everything inside and then when you open up here this is her and the lighting. I just cannot get over how pretty it is. But, but anyway, I'm going to show you guys pretty much everything that I put in the space. I wanted to thrift as much of the fixtures and everything that I could, but when it came down to it, I didn't want to stress out about having to hunt for things, so I ended up buying a lot of things on Amazon or Home Depot or whatever or Ikea. So I will link as much as I can down below and if you guys are interested in anything that I don't mention, just let me know and I'll do my best to tell you where I got it from. All right, we're gonna focus on this side of the room first. So we have this little message board sign. I actually thrifted this and it was brand new when I thrifted it and it's just really cute because I get to put little fun quotes on it. I got this rug here from Wayfair. I thought, I think I showed this to you guys in the last video, but I thought it was gonna be darker. It ended up not looking that bad. I think it's nice because it's a nice contrast against the black table. And then I just did a few displays on this table here. This little shelf guy, I have a couple of these. And these are from Ikea, super easy to build. My mannequins, I actually did thrift these, or well, I bought them off Facebook Marketplace. Um, but I don't know exactly where they are from. I definitely wanted a place where I could like take photos or like somebody could take a photo in here and post it. Um, so I got this massive mirror off of Wayfair and I absolutely love it. Uh, this is another one of those Ikea stands. And then my plants, most of my plants I bought at a plant store because they were having a huge sale. But I do have a vendor who is selling plants over there. I'll show you guys that later. Uh, moving on over here, I got four of these shelves from Ikea. They're just like the classic basic Ikea shelves and I think they look really good in here. Um, and then moving over here, this little table I thrifted and I painted it black. My father-in-law made me, or my grandpa-in-law, made me my cash wrap 
to my dimensions. It's all custom. And then I painted it. This little rug right here is washable and it's actually from Walmart. It was like super surprising. I was having a really hard time finding um, rugs that I was gonna like in this space, but I do like the, how this one looks here. Um, and then over here I have this little stand which I got off of Ikea as well. I get a lot of questions about what my POS system is and I use a software called Simple Consign. And then I have this Lane 5000 um, card reader. I use a Mac or a Mac Mini. Let's see if I can show it to you guys really quick right here. So this is my Mac Mini. And then I just use like a portable monitor. But I just bought a stand for it so it won't look so lame just right there. Um, the same woman that painted my logo outside painted this one for me here as well. And I just think it is so perfect. Um, moving on over here is another shelf. I have a bunch of these racks that are kind of just like randomly around the store. I bought those off Facebook Marketplace at the same time that I bought the mannequins. I'm not quite sure where they're from. They were from some retail store that was closing down. And I have this here because we served mimosas on Saturday and I just haven't moved that to the back. Moving over here, these are more of those silver racks. And then this shelving unit I also got from that business that went out of business, the other retail store that went out of business. Um, but this one's cool because it has shelves on it. And this is my little men's section. I actually bought racks to replace these that match the other ones that I have. So soon this will look a little bit different. And then moving into, actually let's do this side first and then we'll go into the dressing rooms later. You guys have seen my shoe wall here. Those were all purchased from Home Depot. Um, and they were really easy to put up. Actually, I'm not even gonna say that because I didn't put them up. Uh, my grandparents or my grandparents-in-law did that for me, so that was amazing. This balloon installation here was done by a local um, party company. They were so, so sweet. They're some of my friends and they just create these absolutely beautiful balloon displays for parties or for whatever, and they took my colors and they made this for me and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. They're gonna have to take the like background, the backdrop, but I'm gonna take the balloons when they pick that up and just put it over this arch and I think it'll look super, super cute. These chairs I picked up from a thrift store, but they were brand new in box, so those turned out great. They're actually outdoor chairs, which I love, so just in case somebody gets them dirty, they'll be easy to wash. This rug is also from Ikea, but I purchased it off of Facebook Marketplace for a steal. And then this is a little coat rack that I got from Marshalls, and I just use it to hold my purses. I think I need more, because I need more purses. <laughs> I need something to hold more purses. Moving on to this side of the store, it's a lot of just repeats, like for example, these shelves are the same, that rack in the back is the same, um, and then I got these black racks off of Amazon. I'm really happy that I ended up going for these black ones instead of just trying to paint or use the racks that I had. Um, I just love the way that all of this looks together. These mannequins are the same as the ones that were on the table, but I did buy new legs for them. I think this one, you can see them a little bit better. So these ones have like a little bit more of an industrial leg. They are tall. I will say that they don't fit these mannequins perfectly. I had to do some DIY to kind of make it sit on there perfectly, but these mannequin stands I got from Store Supply. I think that's what it's called. Um, I will link it all down below. They have a bunch of different options for mannequins. So you can kind of like customize how you want them to look, um, how you want the body to look, and what you want the base to look like. Since I already had these top parts, I just bought a bunch of the bottom so that I could match them. And then, yeah, moving over here, I guess I didn't really give you guys like a full tour, but we have the athletic section right here, shirts on the top, sweaters on the bottom, this is like shorts and skirts, and then we have jeans on these two racks, and then just like casual pants over here. On this rack, my mother-in-law made these custom like soaps, candles, body, or uh, 
bath bombs and a bunch of other cute things that make the store smell absolutely phenomenal and I'm just super thankful that she did that she got a bunch of like my favorite scents like this one is Twilight themed if you guys know me I'm obsessed with Twilight so I just thought that was so cute and they have been getting so many compliments people have been eating them up not actually but people love them and um, I'm happy to have these in the store Moving on to this front part of the store, we just have this little display section here. Um, this table is probably my favorite, one of my favorite things in this whole store. It's like a yin yang shape. I got this at a restore and I believe I paid $50 for this set and I'm absolutely obsessed. I got one of these mannequins. I think I got this mannequin I don't know where I got this mannequin from, but we got her here. <laughs> and then over here on this wall, these are other vendors that I brought into the shop that I'm selling on consignment as well. So one of these brands is Moonbeam Daydream. She is one of my best friends and she creates holistic skincare. And these are some of her products. If you guys are interested in checking out any of her products, I will link her website down below. She also offers like one-on-one -on -one coaching and meditation services and she's just amazing. Super thankful that she wanted to come into the store with me. It's actually a funny story. We were supposed to open a store together but that kind of fell through. Um, so we both kind of went on different paths and she was still able to bring some of her products in here. So really happy about that. And then this here is another vendor. Her Business is Nicole's Nursery and she just sells house plants and fun things. I definitely wanted to incorporate plants somehow in the shop so she sells on consignment as well. And these fixtures here were all theirs. I asked them to bring in their own fixtures and it just happened that they matched so I think it is pretty cohesive even though they're not black they are they match with each other so i think that that worked out pretty well and then this is kind of just like what it looks like looking out and i am just blown away at these windows they are so huge and i love them so much now the dressing rooms are probably my favorite i keep saying everything is my favorite but i absolutely love these dressing rooms i'm so happy with the way that they turned out the flooring is peel and stick tile that I got off of Amazon and I put all of this in by myself and it was a lot of hard work but as you can see it kind of just stops right there and I tried to hide the back. I obviously need to finish the back, I don't even want to show that to you today but I covered it with this room divider which I got off of Amazon and it is actually like really pretty in person and really happy with that. The color was perfect. This ottoman I got at Goodwill for $40. I originally thought it was gonna go out here with the shoes, but I liked how that looked better. So it's living here for now. It won't always live here, but I thought it would be cute to have somewhere to sit. I have another one of these racks here, but I don't know if that's gonna live there forever. Um, and then I got these, I have three dressing rooms. So this one's a little bit bigger. And then I have two on this side. And I got these curtains off of Amazon. My grandpa-in-law built my whole dressing room and he built my office over here. And he pretty much helped me do everything in the shop. Um, but this is what the dressing looks like, the dressing room looks like in its whole pretty glory. These mirrors are from Ikea. We just mounted them onto the wall. And then these racks, or these things right here, these hooks, I got at Marshalls, I believe. And all of the, all of the fitting rooms have matching ones. I don't know where the stool is in that one, but um, I got these stools here from Ikea, so it's just the black part, and they were only $5. And then I got the cushions off of Amazon, and each room has a different colored cushion. So, let me see if I can. So, this one has a pink cushion, and then there's like a champagne one that I haven't put together yet, but it's supposed to go in the other room. But that's pretty much it. I am so just happy with how the store turned out. And I was freaking out for a little bit, just like not sure how I was gonna organize everything or where I was gonna put the racks, the shelves and everything. And then kind of just dawned on me that these things don't have to live there forever. I can always move things around. So expect 
seeing the store looking different in like a couple months or so um but yeah that is a full store tour if you guys have any questions about fixtures or anything um please let me know i will answer to the best of my ability um but yeah that's it for today's video i know it's a little short i kind of just wanted to give you guys a little update on how everything was going and once I kind of like settle into here, settle into my new apartment and everything, then hopefully videos will get back on track. I always say that. I'm probably not gonna do a Vlogmas this year because it absolutely kills me and I just don't have time for that. But I expect more like work with me type vlogs. I feel like that'll be the easiest to for me to commit to. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys aren't already, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below if you want to see more content about reselling, about owning a brick and mortar consignment store, and all that jazz. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Thank you.